I tell you, this is a catastrophe. It's an awesome conflagration. <laughs> is the train going to be on time, do you know? I mean, is it going to be on... Oh, hello, hello, in there. Uh, why aren't they open? What's your name, Sonny? Uh, Julius... Julius Maloney. Funny, you don't look Julius. What kind of a crack is that? That kind of a remark dates you, you know. That kind of an anti-Semitic remark, it really dates you. Hare Krishna, Hare, Hare, Hare. What's that? He won't harm you. Hare Krishna. What, is he yours? Don't be a fool. He was here when they brought me in. Well, he's probably the porter, don't you think? Still, he, he looks so... Uncontrolled, <laughs> like the fire. Om. Om. Oh, that is horrible out there. I tell you, life is chaos. Only art is balance and order. Still, they'll probably be kept so busy fighting the fire, they won't have time to come and look for us, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why we're here, isn't it? Because we fooled them and escaped, huh? You know, you're a magnificent weirdo. What do you do besides make love to statues? I do not... Oh, don't bother. Nothing really surprises me. Anyway, I can see you when you can't see me. Um, I wish he'd stop that. I did a play, an ugly thing, and aborted in Philadelphia. But the stage manager looked exactly like you. He was a weirdo, too. I am a connoisseur of beauty. That's capital B. Maybe I should have had a baby. But loud breathing always made me laugh. Somebody's coming. If that's emasculation, Your Honor, then make the most of it. Give that bimbo his divorce. Give them all their blessed freedom. Stupid, stupid little oversexed. Boys. Somebody's definitely coming. Where can I hide? Try the men's womb, you and your armless amour. No warmth. No light, no warmth. Is she beautiful? She's ugly. Pale and ugly and beautiful. Hey, man. Hey, what's happening? How long have you been here? Oh, I don't know. What about her? Well, she says she's always been here. Oh, heavy. Very heavy. Wow, I didn't mean to interrupt her meditating. Oh, that's all right, little missy. Don't seem to do no good, no how. Nothing seems to do any good. Hey, you want to talk about it? Not to you. Not to any of you, but especially not to you. Why not? I've got my reasons. You're like everybody else, aren't you? Sure, baby. Carbon copy. Hostile, lashing out, swack. Sure. Travel the road to understanding through the tunnel of hate. Um... Where are all the flower children? Where did they go? My gentle brothers and sisters. Made invisible by ice, hostility and coldness, shivering city. Where is L.O.B. love? The slut can't even spell. Insight. Stories of spiritual conflict in the 20th century. Insight. Reality is a many-faceted thing. It includes ourselves, other people, 
the culture in which we live, the God who permeates and unifies them all. If we're going to live fully and grow and develop, we must face reality as it is. We must respond to it in our own unique way. If we're to come alive, we must embrace reality and celebrate life. This isn't always easy because reality makes demands upon us and living fully always involves a measure of pain. And so we're tempted to create a comfortable world of illusion for ourselves. We opt out, distort reality, run from pain, even if that leaves us half dead. We're all tempted to do this. Can you ever really escape? What happens to you inside if you try? Om Mani Padme Hum Om Mani Padme Hum Don't cry to me, Chicky. There is no queen of love, not since the king he died. Stars fell on Alabama, jarred loose by a rifle shot. The king died hard off a motel balcony. You can't blame me for that. I don't blame no one, not even the sick hunky who pulled the trigger. I have found me a mountaintop far to the east, and I'm cool. No blame at all. And when that old train pulls in here, this mother's gone. Running. Like you. An X marks the spot where Malcolm died. What are you doing, man? Don't you touch me! I'll scream the place down! He's trying to kill me! What's happening to this country anyway? A good American can't read his piece without some commie pervert making trouble. I did not make trouble. You jiggled the door, fella. You jiggled my door. I was tired. I've been running a long time. That sink was uncomfortable to sit on. Get some clothes on her, man. Show some decency. Who is he anyway? An organism, like you. Trying to get along in the shifting environment. Don't you call me an organism or anything like that, you hear me? Does your uh, father know you're out, little girl? I'm sorry. I don't want to be your centerfold bunny. Get in there, Pops. You boy, get up off of there. Pull yourself together like a man. You're one of us now. Oh, we've been through that, Major. Get yourself a job. Jerk yourself up by your bootstraps, boy. Why aren't you serving your country? Oh, with my white jackets at the chinks, boss, getting nice and clean, as I recall. Call, son, never recall. Always treat, never retreat. I remember the soldiers and the sailors. What a grateful audience they were. Clean little boys. Happy little boys. Afternoon, kiddies. Oh, sir, I mean, man. Don't have to reimburse the railroad. I just have five minutes. I'd like a bedroom, but I'll sell it. Calm down a minute and I'll tell you. I can't sell you any tickets. Why not? I knew it. I felt it. Not till uh, the dispatcher gets here. Dispatcher? What do you mean, dispatcher, you silly cockroach? I have traveled all over the world, sir. I've never heard of this method of buying tickets. It's because of me, ain't it? When the dispatcher gets here, then you'll get your tickets. Why is that? Because he's the one says who goes and who stays. Preposterous! Ridiculous! We're all going. Maybe. Maybe not. Train's pretty full, you know. Big crowds. A lot of people like you running. Running? What do you mean, running, you hayseed yokel? I'm not running. I have a very important destination. Well, your destination may be important, but it's my destiny no, that is vital. Oh, no, 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 a moment, folks, I'll handle this. Uh, when is this uh, uh, dispatcher due to arrive, sir? Can't tell. What do you mean you can't tell? Can't tell, cause, um, I don't know him. It doesn't look good. You mustn't be afraid. Tom says we're not afraid. No, but he sounded so ominous. Listen. It's coming here. Shh. Oh, well, get him. Oh, be quiet. It must be him, the dispatcher. Yes, that sounds like the sort of thing they might do. Yes, it could be he. Are you the dispatcher? Are you? Who are you? Who am I? 
I'm a child of God. Right, right, but I mean... Where am I? You're here, sir. It's all right, chaplain. You're safe. Where am I? I don't think he hears us. Nonsense. Father, could you tell us where we are? Rabbi, Rabbi, I'd like Brothers to... Brothers and sinners, hear me! The fires of hell yeah, don't yeah, burn! Yeah, preacher, but can no, wait, you tell us... Wait, he doesn't hear you. I hear a murmuring... If only I could understand again. Huh? If he's the dispatcher, are we in trouble? What do you mean? He means if he can't see or hear, how is he going to tell who stays and who gets to go? Precisely. You sound like a couple of tricky atheists to me. This is a man of God you're blaspheming. Oh. Uh, really, Major? You can blaspheme a man. I don't care who he is. Atheist! <laughs> Ignoramus. Pinko, bleeding heart, communist. Fascist boar. Nigger kite. Nazi pig. They're marvelous. Call them a white liberal. He'll take it for a compliment. I don't need any help from you, boy. I'm only standing up to be counted, Adolf. Like you said. But I've always been on your side. Why do you turn on me now? Because I married your sister, man, only it didn't work out. Is that why you're so bitter? Drop dead. Oh, please, no, no, no crudities here. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Jim. Uh, well, yes, but I mean, what's your last name, Jim? Jim is my last name. I'm Negro Jim. Is that an intended slur on Mark Twain, sir? A great American who always believed in calling a spade a spade? They say black is beautiful. Do they? Sir, answer us. Tell us what to do. Absolute purity, absolute unselfishness, absolute honesty, absolute love. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, yes. In God's kingdom to come. No, here, all of us, now, here. Where is the light I once knew? Where is the light of my oh, youth? Oh, easy, easy Oh, he ain't no dispatcher. He's just a poor blind man like you and me. Well, it's obvious we still have a wait, so we might as well settle down, folks, make ourselves comfortable. Now, uh, what's our ration situation? How much uh, fresh water do we have? Coffee, uh, uh, cigarettes, chewing gum. How many rounds of ammo am I... What's he talking about? While you're policing the barracks, I'll finish the story I was reading. Good story, good sound story. Wife swapping in the suburbs. And we all know who's masterminding that degenerate foreignness, don't we? The man is unbelievable. We're all unbelievable. I believe in you. The way you believe in any other abstraction. He does here. Now and then. And do you see, wise man? I used to. What happened? He wised up. He grew up. I hear voices. I hear murmuring. Tuned out again. Hallelujah. No, God, why deny me understanding? Still burning. Oh, they'll never control that. That's all that's left of the world out there. I think it's exciting. But then you wouldn't know what that word meant, would you, lover? Oh, shut up. You're as revolting as that hideous mirror you keep falling into. What do you see in there, anyway? I see what I want to see. I see the important. I see the beautiful. I see the only. I see me. Oh, you don't see nothing. You're like him, blind and deaf. The you you're looking at never lived. But at least I can look. At least I can look at myself without flinching. What does that mean? It means your skin is black, black boy. And you obviously haven't learned to live with it. I know the color of my skin better than you do, old witch. And I don't need no mirror to check that out. And whatever I'm blind about, it ain't you. They're all alike, children. Beautiful, strong bodies, but cruel as children. Well, I won't have it. I just won't. Save me from them. Let your cool, white, silent marble wash away their ugliness. Take me in your no arms. Love me as I love you, desperately, without passion, without pain. What's happening to us? Am I walking, talking, feeling tears in a dream? You are nasty. No, nothing. I'm cold. With the sun burning hot? 
The city is a glacier. The ice people glide through corridors of dog yellowed snow. They have lumps of coal for eyes reflecting nothing. And where are all the flowers? Clubbed to the ground and buried under dirty snow. What's she talking about? The city's jungle hot. Sunlight burning chalk, fiery white. Everything so white it hurts my eyes. There was a boy. A gentle, magic boy. We read Thoreau in Hesse, and we walked in a meadow. We had our charts read by a 16-year-old girl with purple eyes who we were sure was a witch. I'll bet you're a Libra. And he was an Aquarius. Yeah, hey, that's groovy, Aquarius. When they pushed a gun in his hand, he told them that he had three billion brothers and sisters and that he didn't want to hurt any one of them. So the ice people put him in their prison. I should have gone to Canada or to Sweden. On a Sunday morning last month, I heard he was dead. They say he stumbled, that he fell in the carpenter shop, that a saw ripped his life from him. But you know, they wouldn't let me see him. Off we go in the wild blue yonder, climbing high into the sun. It is expected that every man do his duty. Ex urbis ex officio. Oh, no, man. Expatriate. Existence. Exaltation. Excellent, mes amis. Exterminate. Oh. Say, I like this game. Expectorate. Oh, <laughs> Examine. Yourselves. Experience. Yourselves. What's that? Who is he? When did he come in? What are you selling, Jack? Reality. What did he say? Truth and reality. Can't understand a word the man says. You uh, speak American. Look at his eyes. I can't. What do you want? It's you who want tickets for the 1159 train. Away from here, away from now. Are you the dispatcher? Oh, he couldn't be. Not him. Why not? You mean he's the one who says who goes, who stays? How are you at bribery, General? Hey, up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. There's room enough on the train for five. Five? But there are six of us here. I know. Does that mean one of us don't get to go? Brilliant mathematical deduction. That's about the size of it. Well, that's the most unfair. Oh, no, 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 just a moment, I'll handle this. Uh, uh, sir, I have an old hand at uh, selecting qualified personnel. Oh, no, you Perhaps I can help that you. That way I'd never get to go. Let me be the uh, no, one. Sure. Oh, the the kind of assistance you need on something like no, this. Don't say it! Oh, all of you, stop it! What about you, holy man? Don't you have anything to add? I'll go if it is the will of Allah. Divine providence is the arbiter, just as it was when the Lord chose to take my sight from me. You were blinded at the age of 26. How do you know that? Hunting deer in Utah. No one knows that. You put the gun to your head. You aimed it yourself. Oh, please. And just as you were about to pull the trigger, you changed your mind. The gun swerved, but the muzzle blasted. Stop it! Stop it! Damn you! Why? I... I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of people. I couldn't stand them. But in my blindness, I found God. And that's all that matters. You'll never find God by running away from people. That's your blindness. And the rest of us? Do you know things about us, too? Well, what if he does? I've got nothing to hide. My fitness report speaks for itself. Honor, duty, country, Mother's Day, BPOE, dogs of all kinds, General Motors, General Washington, the 4th of July, all 100%, sir. You left out Sunday school, Major. Ah, right, in Peoria. Peoria, and little Bobby Evans learning to play the organ. Ah, that's irrelevant. He was forced to leave town. Uh, that, 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 that's irrelevant. Uh, to shut up! Uh, how'd you like a, a punch in the nose, Mr. Smart Apple? 
Who are you? What is this? What are you doing here? James Sherman. Who told you my name? Look. You sure do know how to string words together, Jamie. <laughs> Supper was sure good, Andy Wick. That new wife of yours, I bet she don't feed you like that. We pleased and we wild surprised you come home for a visit. <laughs> What's that? He gonna spend the night. Because if he gonna spend the night, I'm getting out of here. Well, what's bothering you, Uncle? Is it because I went to college, I wear a shirt and tie? What is it? Wear what you want to wear. But why did you have to come back? And what's the matter with you, boy? Don't you care about what happens to us or yourself? Have you been gone that long that you don't remember what it's like down here? Now, that's enough of that kind of talk. What you trying to do? Spoil Jamie's visit? Now, you go on back. You hear? You go on back while you can. You go on back to that lily white blonde wife of yours while you can still feel like a man. Oh, oh Lord. You are a fool, Jamie. You always was. Now it's too late. This is insane. This is... What do you want? What's the matter, boy? You look kind of pale. What is it you want? Look, if there's something bothering you... Look, I, I'm, I'm from New York. Uh, New York City. I've been... Listen to me! I ain't done nothing. What do you want? Okay. I know what's bothering you. I admit it. I made a mistake. I should have married her. But we can get a divorce. We can, we can split up. Nothing that ain't mine. Believe me. Please believe me. Don't, don't hurt me. Oh, God, why? Don't hurt me. Take him. Please, no. 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 Misses you, Jim. Your son's almost three years old now. I don't want to hear about it, understand? What she does is her own business. It's got nothing to do with me. What do you want to show me that garbage for? That cat doesn't even look like me. And I was born in Detroit, not in any bitty old cabin. Where'd you get them old niggas from? They ain't no kin of mine. I am what you see. Oh, oh, it's the train. Well, there isn't much time. Someone will have to help me. Carry me. Carry me aboard. What if each end? You're that certain you'll be one of the five, huh? Are you that certain, madam? Yes. Because I think I know. There's no turning back, is there? Not unless you're willing to walk. Walk? You know you can walk. I prefer it. This way. Your ticket, madam. And yours. Major. You mean I'm one of the five? Mm -hmm. Say, you're all right. Yes, sir, you're a 100% all right guy. Major, will you help the lady aboard? Oh, yes, sir, glad to. Glad to. Jim, you'd better get aboard. Will you help the major? Sure. Why do I always have to carry the back end? That's up to you, isn't it? Let's go, Adolf. You've won the battle, boy, but not the war. One space left. That's it, right? I've got to fight it out with that tram for the one space? I don't want to fight. Not for anything. There, you see? She's made your choice for you.
Please help me. I've got to get out of here. That fire won't last forever. They'll be coming after me then. They will. They have before. I just came from the city. It's not burning. <laughs> Don't you see the flames? I see the sunlight reflected on the glass walls of the buildings. It's a beautiful red. <laughs> Can't you see the smoke? I see the evening mist rising. Please. I can't go alone. I can't go without her. Please help us. She's all I live for. I'm damned without her. did, not really. But what choice do I have? They're making me run. Who? Well, them, those people. The frightened, the phonies, the zealots, the blind believers in yesterday. Everyone who hates himself, who runs away from himself. And what about you? There still might be room in that train. What? You'd better hurry. No, thanks. I'll stay. But where will I go? Where are you? Please, you've got to tell me what to do. Afternoon, young lady. Where is he? You here for the 11.59. Please, where? See along soon. Make yourself comfortable. Where is he? I need him. You look cold, little girl. Want, um, I should build a fire for you. No. I don't need it anymore. You know, it's a beautiful sunset. Insight is a production of the Paulist Fathers, a group of Catholic priests who serve their God by serving those outside their church. <laughs>